do when I say it's deep, it's deep in there. I need pliers to get it out. Dude, this bass is hard. Oh my gosh. I can't get my foot up. Bro, it's in there. I might pick this out. I'm gonna pick that out in a few minutes. That was almost bad, boys. Unreal. I can't wait to see people comment below. You can't wait till you get done driving to get a crankbait out of your shoe. No, because it's in my foot. Keep your eyes on the road. My eyes were always on the road. There was a crankbait in my foot. What do you do? Glad I'm not driving around you, DC. How are you responsible? You swerving on the road. I love it. I love it. Bam! Back at you. Here we are. That was too much. <laughs> that was way overboard. Let me read it up. Okay. Yep. Welcome back to the channel. That wasn't enough. <laughs> that wasn't enough. Here we are, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And if you pan the camera to the front of the vehicle, we're going through, I guess you would call these the Ozark Mountains. Ozark Mountain Trail. I don't know. We're, we are headed northbound. No, we're not. We're headed west. We're headed west. Um, we are en route to Grove, Oklahoma for Red Crest. 2022 Red Crest. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. So we're en route. Um, we're headed to Grove. We're going to make a little pit stop here in a few minutes. We're, uh, we're still in... Yeah, we're still in Arkansas. Yeah. Why are you laughing at me right now? I'm not, I'm not laughing. Okay. I'm just trying to breathe. <laughs> Your size is <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just trying, I'm trying to messing, breathe. Paul's messing everybody up. Uh, yeah, so we're in route right now. We're still in Arkansas, but we're going to stop in um, at Favorite right here in Missouri. We're going to stop in. Might pick up a couple rods. We're going to get hand this trophy off right back here in the back seat because they're going to have the trophy at the Red Crest Expo next week. So uh, give you a little rundown of the schedule. Tomorrow starts practice, and then Monday's practice, then we have off day, the tournament starts on Wednesday. So they're having the Red Crest uh, Expo later next week, like Friday, Saturday-ish, some of those days. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of people there. So y'all slide by the favorite booth. You go check out the trophy, and uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good good week. So we're gonna stop in right there. We are in route. I've been looking forward to this since last year. So it's gonna be a big week at Grand Lake. O the Cherokees, not Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Oh, Grand Lake of the Cherokees. So we're in route, boys. We've already filmed a podcast. Like, yeah, we're, we're, getting, we're getting crap done on the road. Oh, I done talked my head off. I talked to Jacob for like 45 minutes, unbelievable, no, like an hour. And then we did a podcast for about 30 minutes, and then I've been driving. We've been on the road now for, I don't know, since I've been on the road since 5 this morning. It's yep. 12. Yep. So I've been on the road. But, uh, yeah, got B behind the camera. We're rolling. This is a travel vlog. Red Crest, it's about to go down. Big week ahead. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> there you go. What's going on? You doing all right, bro? Good, how are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. How you been? Good. Good stuff, Y'all over here. This is a pretty cool deal. Boom. We took that photo in uh, Mexico. That's awesome. Welcome to the favorite headquarters oh, right I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Awesome. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. How was the ride? Oh, it was good. It was good. 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 You ain't been here in a while. No. You know the last time I was here is when we did the Pro Series rods. You've not been here in a while. Like three years. Well, it's been like three years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty cool.
I've been here for. You haven't been here for. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool little place right here. And I got more of them if you need one for the boxes. They're, they're a 10 inch like to put on a box. I'm probably gonna put these two on the flywheel lids. Do you need more? I probably just need two. I, mean, I, got, I'm gonna put, I got more if you want them. The armies. Those are kinda cool. Yeah, I'm But these should yeah, be out. Maybe. These should be out in April. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, you want them? Yeah, I'm gonna try these big sections. Try to save top of my hands. Yeah. Cause you can tell I've been out the sun a little bit. We got new new beer koozies too. Right. They put magnets in the back of them. So you can put them. Stick them anywhere. Golf cart, side of your boat. I can get side some of your in. truck. Yeah. Win this I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them out. You have to use them. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. During a tournament. Boom. So I get, we're gonna have you sign this. All right. And then we're gonna give it away. And I, go. I got you one to hang up the shot. Yeah, that's going to be badass. How you want me to sign this? 2022 Smith Lake Champion or MLF or Red Crab? Uh, it really don't matter. It's up to you. Oh, my goodness. You have one in boat jackets? I've got boat jackets. And then we got, we got beanies. Yeah, I've got both there. Beanies and hoodies. And... So this area right here, this is where like anybody that buys one online, it all comes out of here. So, you know, you bust a case and you just put, put one in. And every, there's like four of every single model down through here. And then all the Solus reels are here. And so when, when we take like, all that's like back stock inventory. Right. So we only keep like, we keep like 20,000 rods in this area, and then we got hundreds of thousands. This is where all your favorite rods come, right here. Boom. Where's the old big C at? I think it's on the other side. The 7-2 hex. Look what else is gone. gone. In DC, gone. gone. You're sold out, brother. Sold out. Got a few of marks left, but all your 7-2 medium heavy sold out. That's that's Zach's yeah. rod. This is the rod I'm from out Spring Lake. Yeah. Here's what you what you was catching them on at Smith. No, no that's a casting rod. It's on the other side. Now you fish at seven two. Yeah. See what happened. You go. I got them. Seven two, sixteen. Sixteen is plenty. Seven twos are gone. That's what's up. We let them go. They gone. They gone. They gone. You can't get no more. That'd be some more insane. Six tens is badass rod too. Yeah, I like that rod. I, you can skip docks really, really good with him. Well, it's just a medium, you know, so it's a little lighter. But for uh, that medium heavy, when you're fishing no 30, 40 foot though, you can mm -hmm. turn your head around. Yeah, skipping those docks, you need something a little bit shorter. Oh, you need some of these. Tommy likes this. <laughs> you got some fun like stick docks. The bug swatter. Big sexy swatters. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Are these for sale? We just give them away. But they yeah. ain't on the website. We ain't put them on the website. I think we might. Everybody wants them. Look right there. That's your bug swatter. Just don't let it fly out of your hand. <laughs> yeah, you put you, that you out there go, beside your grill. You can whoop your kid. Yeah, you can do that. You, you can whoop can, your kid. You yeah, can you can kill flies. No doubt. Your wife gets out of line, you tame her back. You could do that. I don't know. Vic might wrap Vic, up around Vic, your head. Vic may fold this over my head. <laughs> She'll hit me with the other end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'll get you chasing Vic around with it. Yeah, ain't no doubt. So get the hell off me. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. We just finished up here at the Favorite Warehouse. I just signed 20 hats. And if you were following on IG... You might would have got one. They might be sold out by now. When's the video posted? Yeah. They're gone. They're gone. Yeah, Today's they're Saturday. Gone. They're gone. So you got to follow along DC Fishing at Instagram. And I think they actually went on Facebook too. Yeah, it probably went on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So y'all check us out. You might get a free signed hat or a whatever. I don't know. We might be giving away 
New baits. We might be getting away. I might just sign my shoes like some LeBron shit. Let's just do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. You know, I'll be tossing That's up freaking there. legit. When are those coming out? We launched them at, at the Red Crest. How about that? But no, you can put your beer in there, your water, whatever, stick it on your truck, your boat. You stick it on your I truck. Can go down and stick it on the side of your boat. Bop. You know, you know, yeah. Lawn mower when you're out there. Cut the grass. <laughs> I mean, if you're out there on the pond too, you can just stick it yeah. on there. Wherever. So many people, so many people gonna steal that idea as soon as it launches. Yeah, like offshore, you know, stick it on the pipe. It's pretty cool. It'll hold a, it'll hold a, sixteen ounce beer, full. That's legit. <laughs> I like that. You got some. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, we made it, we made it. This is how they treat me. They leave me this. Oh um, well, look at that. Oh um, well. Well, hey, you have breast sleep on the couch, so it's, it, you treat everybody else the same. Oh, everybody. Oh, he, he, he said, bring your own bed. Um, hey, Brody, is on the couch. He's on the air mattress. Man, hey, hey, you got, you got, you got the king bed, man. I'm with me. Cause, 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 cause uh, cause you play. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Hey, you the champ. Let's do it. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to wake up a little bit. Here we are, Grand Lake. And if you notice something real quick, I ain't matching at all. You thinking fish care though? It's middle of March. Here we are, Grand Lake practice. And I'm gonna bring y'all outside just real quick before we go practice. Come here. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Look right there. That's a moon. That's all I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> no, so, so, so look, here we are, practice Grand Lake. The moon is shining real bright. And you know what they say about a moon in late March on Grand Lake. You know what they say? What they say? It's still winter time. Let's go back and fish. Come on, let's go. They ain't coming. They ain't gonna be there. I promise you, it's gonna be 77 days. They ain't spawning. Give me the dog. First Grand Lake victim. He's cold. On a plug, on a jerk plug, baby. I got him. I know what to go do. Maybe. I don't know. Look at that chunky little guy. That's a scorable. Yeah. He's cold, buddy. Look at that. Boom! Grand Lake pass. He was hungry. And he was out here where I thought he was gonna be. Let's freaking up. Fishing enough. I need to find an isolate. 
I got brushed from the dog. That little fat boy will probably score, to be honest. That's a little fat on a crank beat. Hmm. Go fast, that one. Give me an update on practice. Random. <coughs> random. <laughs> old random bite here and there. That's about it. Son. A random bite here and there. Got us a little pattern going. They on these banks, but they on that wood. They just ain't enough wood. They ain't enough wood. That's a scoreable. Oh. Right. Gotta be around wood. Gotta be around wood. All right, that's gonna wrap up practice for day one. Caught a few here, caught a few there. It wasn't really great, you know. Uh, the water's kind of clear, so it's, it kind of eliminates. I mean, they're still gonna get caught on spinner bait and stuff like that, but I caught mine on a dirt bait today. I had to kind of eliminate that main lake stuff. I mean, I thought there was gonna be main lake, main lake, but you know, for me, it wasn't working. So inside the pockets, in between docks, you find a little piece of wood or something, jerk bait around that, maybe a spinner bait. So tomorrow we got one last day of practice. We gotta find them. We won't be filming that. It's gonna be rainy. Yeah, it's gonna be rainy tomorrow, so we're not gonna film tomorrow. Electronics and rain don't work. I'll keep y'all updated on tomorrow. We'll see but the bite is not that easy. What? <laughs> yeah! Hey, this one's got a fire alarm? Hey, this one it is, man. <laughs> we got up there. That's what happens when you put best bass fishermen on planet Earth in the kitchen. No, this <laughs> is what happens hey, when you got a grill. You got a grill. I'm going to tell you something. World's worst <laughs> ever are hamburgers for doing that crap. 100%. Greasy. Cholesterol. Uh, sauces is worse than that. Cholesterol filled hamburgers. Welcome to it. That is. Try it. Man. Let me just keep my deal. Hey, well, I'm going to leave the door open. Let the door open because we're going to do it. Very funny cooking for the deal. All right, so DC's always always bumming some stuff off us, but you know now he's starting to pay back a little bit. Uh. I told him now look at the end of the day, which which we we tend to lose a lot of glasses. You end up putting them somewhere, they fly off X Y Z. Right. So hey, I'm I'm gonna give you a pair of my brand new Super Series pair of glasses. Oh my gosh. Hey, you're gonna be able to see your screens my that Jacob, much better. Jacob Wheeler, I can see a lot better with these on camera. Well, yeah, the thing is, is it amplifies, I've actually worked with Lawrence to amplify the active target unit with those specific glasses. And then it also allows you to have x-ray vision in the water. Okay. But people don't, don't, don't tell everyone. X-ray okay, vision. Keep that on the dial up. <laughs> so you can actually visually here. see them. So I can there actually tell. There is here. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 see? <laughs> Oh man, that. I'm sorry. I thought he had me so. He truly thought that there was some in there, but there's none in there. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I gave him something. Hey, hey, hey I gave you, it's, a good, it's a good case, so you don't you lose. You got me it. excited. Well, hey, it's not a good case when you don't. That way, you don't lose. 
<laughs> your best shirt face. Unbelievable. So you're not really <laughs> giving me none? I think Brody stole that pair. Dang. Let me grab another. I thought I was really getting a treat there. A little bit heavier. I had to go back up, so I, I forgot. Okay, let's try these. I'm gonna hope. All right, we're gonna try these now. Let's see. Don't sound promising. No? We got them. Promise. Got them. We got them. All right, we're gonna check these out. All Branding right. is subtle, but it's there. Very legit. They they they're light. They're nice. That's they make favorite. things glow. I like it. They actually legitimately do. I, that's a that's my favorite lens color, hands down. I'm rocking with this. Do you tomorrow. see how crisp those suckers are? I crisp. They make me see better. They do. Hey, you, you'll be able to see that. You'll be able to sight fish in 20 foot. Well, you don't even need that to target with those. They're literally X-ray vision. You can they, tell they the really identity of the bass. They look cool. Like they do. They, they make they make colors pop. They 100 percent. They make like really a, good side fishing glasses. Yeah, they make like a four pound and go boom. Yeah, I think it's even it's even better on actual target. Boom. They have identity like inside of it. It's like an identity of the of the bass. You can just like do them. It's like a large. And they mouth. got your Small name mouth. on the inside. Of on the inside, subtle. But subtle. Nice. But let me know. I just I had to like literally start, had a signature to like twenty seven. I probably did that twenty seven hundred times to get that a decent one. I'm rocking these. Put them back. back in there, though. <coughs> Thank you, big dog. Yeah, you got to put these in there. <laughs> you can do you're going to have to. The only thing is, okay, this is the thing. Uh-uh. Oh, get out of here, boy. All right, still out here rigging. I got a lot of jerk baits tied on, crank baits, spinner baits, you name it. But you better always have a jig. Bite him off and slide him on there. Let him talk to him about it. See, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Huh? You keep your appendages on that thing. What? You keep your appendages on the side on it. No, I'll peel them off. Uh, you used to all the time. I'll peel off like one of them up top. And I'll just leave him. It just slows him down a little bit. You put them on the side? Huh? You got, you got like the side appendages? No, I'll take, I'll take like one of them off. I'll leave the other ones. Why? Slow it down a little bit. That's how I like it. Point no way. I've had a headache for like probably two hours now. Yeah, yeah. I said we were dehydrated. I feel like poopy. No, we didn't eat though. <laughs> <laughs> he said, dude, I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right. All right, here we are on the road. On the road again, as Willie Nelson would say. Is that Willie? I think he sang one of them. A lot of people sang that song. We're highway men. Highway men. You know that song? Uh, Johnny Cash. But I am living still. Where steel and water did collide. The highway men. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a good song. Anyway, we're on the road. Um, we're headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So. What we did is uh, catch y'all back up to speed a little bit. We practiced for two days. I'll go into my practice here in a minute and just tell y'all how everything went. Uh, I got rained on pretty much all day yesterday in the afternoon. Oh, we rigged rods this morning. Now we're headed to Tulsa. So what we're doing is we're staying in Tulsa for this event and we got to drive back and forth. And the main reason for that is we've got the expo, which it starts on Friday. So if you're fishing, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're not going to be at the expo. I'm hoping I'm not at the expo. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we're headed to Tulsa. Go back to boat in there, get everything settled in for the week. And uh, we got to do some media stuff and just get some 
housekeeping stuff done and we got a little dinner this afternoon so but the busy week is just now beginning but all the homework just got done this kind of reminds me of like a test you know what i mean like you know those tests you actually studied for in college or in high school you actually studied for them and they were easy because you knew the answer we just got done studying I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel good about practice, but I'm kind of like, eh, because I know I've seen stuff sizzle out before. So it's kind of like, eh, eh, eh. You got to take it as it goes. Don't get too excited because it's still early in the week, and at least you got a little clue. So that's where I'm at. I'm somewhere in between getting a clue and trying to get a bite. That's a good, that's a good saying right there. Somewhere between not catching nothing and getting a bite. So, we're headed to Tulsa. We'll catch up with y'all when we get there. We've got about an hour left. We'll roll them. All right, we just wrapped up the uh, angler meeting. So we're headed, actually we had a gifting suite too, so that's a pretty cool deal. All the league sponsors, you know, Mercury, uh, Triton was there, you know, a ton of other ones. MLF, they hooked us up with a lot of cool stuff. So. We're headed back to the boat yard. So like, as you can tell, the week is getting started. It's starting to get kind of busy. So we got to put a stat unit on the boat, rig a couple rods and go get warm because tomorrow's about to be cold. So a long week is ahead of us and we ain't even really started yet. <laughs> <laughs> 